guys welcome to another video of mine if you don't know who I am I am Brie in other words Anna Brie my real name is Brianna and I don't even know I'm telling you all of this in this video I will be talking about how I went from past bra strap length actually to a fade all right so let's take it back because this is what this is like my hair grown out from the fade now I faded my hair in May 2014 May 27 2014 I'm thinking I can't really remember I wasn't really tripping off of that date like I did my first big shop but um yeah so I faded my hair if you all watched my big shop number two video you would have learned that 2014 was all about taking more risks for me 2014 was all about just doing stuff so I was like you know what I would cut my hair so January 2014 I did a complete undercut and it wasn't just like in the back it was like my sides and the back so it was like half my hair I cut half my hair off and I love that haircut that haircut was bomb like for real I really didn't get tired of it it was just the fact that uh I told myself that I was gonna cut all of my hair off in 2014 so I was like oh well I gotta cut it so yeah that was my second big chop now you might be thinking that this or the one where I faded my hair was my third big chop but it really wasn't because from the point of January to May my hair had grown a lot so I was all like okay my hair is getting really long it's starting to take over an hour to detangle and I only have like 50% of my hair so I want to cut my hair again but I wasn't quite ready to fade my hair so I got another haircut and that experience was terrible one he kept on advising me not to cut my hair and it was really getting on my nerves and he was acting as if the haircut that I wanted to get was ugly so I'm the whole time I'm just kind of like would you shut the fuck up and cut my hair like I'm paying you to cut my hair aren't I so just cut my hair and then he like was ripping through my hair I mean like ripping through my hair and he was like do you want to do it so after that one the haircut was terrible it looked really nice when it was picked out but guess what that's not how I wear my hair and I told him I wear my hair curly and honestly I feel like he should be like okay if you wear your hair curly then go wet your hair and then come back how you're gonna wear your hair no it was hideous like like I mean real ugly like it was the ugliest hairstyle ever I only kept my hair like that for two weeks because I hated it yeah so after having my hair cut like that for like two weeks then I got my hair cut down again by my cousin's barber he cut my hair really boxy like boxy and square like and it was very masculine and it wasn't really the look that I was going for and also that's when I first no, no well, that wasn't when I first noticed but my hair got really damaged by the last dude like ripping through my hair with that pick it was really damaged and I know from experience that if I brush my hair too hard if I comb it too hard if I rip through it it'll be damaged and I have to cut it off like as simple as that so my entire head of hair was like that like all of it so I actually cut it a little bit myself just to like even it out because I didn't want it to be like a box and I love that haircut like I, I really really like that haircut I, I I think I had that for like it was probably only for like two weeks three weeks maybe but I really 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 like that haircut with the taper on the side so May 27 2014 I ended up cutting all of my hair off but I really loved my fade um I was trying to get waves but then I was like this is a lot of work and then I realized how fast my hair grows. You really notice how fast your hair grows when you ain't got no hair. So I was like, oh, I need a haircut and it's been one week. Mm -mm. Can't keep it short. So I decided after like a week or two that I was gonna grow my hair out. And I was kind of missing my hair after a while. So yeah, so that's why I cut my hair. Cause I told myself I was gonna do it. I wanted to take more risks and I wanted to see what uh, it's technically my big chop number five but I really wanted to see what big chopping again would be like and I have to tell you from someone who's been natural almost five years big chopping again is totally different than the first time um, for me at least I was not concerned with length whatsoever I mean when you ain't got no hair you really can't be obsessing over length um, 
and I had been through that already and that was the reason I had cut my hair in January because I didn't really care about length anymore I had grown my hair past my bra strap so it really didn't matter you know like length really didn't matter I know that if I want my hair to be long I can grow it long in three years so it really wasn't a concern of mine and it was really freeing like really really liberating like way way more so than um much more so than the first time and the first time it was super liberating so i actually think that everybody should big shop twice just i don't know just to experience it you know it's much more fun the second time like much more fun so yeah go ahead and leave me a comment in the comments box below on if you have big chopped twice or three times four times five times so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye next i'm gonna do my bare minerals last domination so when i was buying this right the lady she was like yeah this is actually the only mascara on the market that doesn't use bat feces in the formula. I was like, bitch what?